Go ahead, Mr. Collinger, our last speaker. City Manager Cronk, you're about to be in charge of whatever comes next after Code Next. For your starting point, I recommend you go back to early 2015 when the first 10-1 council was considering the Zucker report. Find an unredacted copy. Considering what has happened with Code Next, I'm pretty sure there were some important recommendations of which the Austin public were left in the dark about because they were unpopular with staff and council. I predict you will read there some things left undone that you will want to pursue, things that fit well with your role as the administrative head of our Austin city government and your new task of bringing Austinites together in support of an improved land development code. I also recommend that you reprise a portion of the Zucker Report's methodology and administer an, an anonymous questionnaire to the Planning and Zoning and Development Services Department personnel. Before you administer the questionnaire, please give them some time to rest from and reflect on their Code Next labors. But even so, I predict their responses will remain as bleak as they were back in 2014. My hope is you will find them informative when you choose among several possible courses of action. I have one specific comment based on my own observations. I watched all 63 hours of the Planning Commission's votes on amendments to Code Next Draft 3. While doing so, one thing that became clear to me for the first time was that the Planning and Zoning and Development Services Departments are very much at odds over Code Next. DSD's view was that P and Z was proposing things they couldn't implement. The F-25 zoning category, for example. That is an example of how far back I think you have to go to restart the process to produce a new land development code. Finally, I commend you for the action you've taken regarding the assistant city managers. One of the reasons you, we don't have a police contract today is that the assistant man, city managers involved did not recognize and adapt to the 10-1 city charter changes, the kind of goal-oriented structural change that you have implemented to correct that situation is almost certainly going to be a requirement for your new assignment today. And Council Member Poole, if, you, uh, if your amendment passes today, I'm putting my hand up for public input. <laughs> Uh, Council Manager Kitchen's chief of staff called me with a heads up for input back on August 1st. And, you know, I produced like four pages in two hours, and including what you've just heard. Thank you. Thank you very much. We're now back.